Why, hello, I'm Barry with Empty Hammock, and today is the big day that we've been waiting for for literally years. We are installing the solarium for my wife. Um, here with my friend Buford, who is kind enough to help today since um, there's quite a few big pieces that I'm going to have to put together. Starting out uh, today, we are just going to be putting down the sill uh, to like the flashing on the bottom of the sill. And going from there, it's definitely something different. I've never done this before. Yeah, so one good benefit of having a Buford is you have a Buford's brake. <laughs> so we uh, got the metal bent and set down on the sill. I think it looks fantastic. I'm going to get it sealed up and attached and then start putting some of the framing on. So we got all the holes drilled to anchor down the uh, sills. And I'm just cleaning it with some ammonia. That way the silicone on the underside sticks really well. And uh, after this, I'll clean it with some alcohol. And then I think that should be enough. It's trying to be cold out here. Really frosty this morning. I guess that happens, you know, seasons and stuff. Yesterday after Buford left, I got a bunch of the brackets put onto the top rail and prepped, ready to go. So as soon as he gets here this morning, we'll be able to just pound along, putting all the, the top bracing in, all the cross members. Maybe even get the glass today. That would be fantastic. Okay, now that the sun finally started to come out and make things a little warmer, blew off all the frost. Still a little chilly, but it ain't bad at this point. So we got everything square, measured six ways from Tuesday, and it's within, what? 16 16th, 32nd. perfect all the way around. I think that's probably good enough for our purposes. So these are the cross members, Buford's prepping them, and then we'll start slapping them in place. Everything's going good so far. It's uh, sandwich o'clock, so we'll be right back. Buford's gonna put the rest of the top pieces on, and I'm gonna see what's next. That is officially all of the framework. It's warmer in here already, this is great. Next thing, according to the directions, is all the gasketing, and then the glazing, which is a fancy word for glass. Spent the last two days putting in 1135,000 little glazing clips every six inches. So we are now ready to put in the glass. I uh, got Buford back to help me, and uh, hopefully, this is going to be it. Last day, I can uh, let him go back to his thing and quit bothering him. Uh, let's see what happens. This is the very first piece. Once we get this one, we'll figure out how to do all the rest of them, I, I hope. Awesome. Mm, 
that's about where it needs to be. Glass panels have a low E glazing on them to are you trying to hide? Yes. <laughs> to uh reflect the the sun more better. Um and they all have a glazing side that shows you which side is which, but unfortunately some of them, a lot of them, the stickers have gotten ripped off for whatever reason. So I actually called the manufacturer and I was like, how do I tell which side is which? And uh I'll show you. So you take a light, you shine it directly onto it, and there's two reflections, one from this pane and one from the other pane. One of them is green, one of them is not. So the reflection that's green goes toward the outside. And that's the one with the Yeah, the only way that we've been able to tell which is which. Because a lot of the stickers, like I said, are all over the place. Really? Already bird crap on it? <laughs> Dang it. Barry and Buford are getting ready to put in the last piece of glass. Mm. Yay! So this is amazingly exciting. Um, we're gonna have to get some thermostats and see what the temperature difference is when it's sunny out tomorrow. It had, it it had glue on it. No, my wife will see it and then she'll expect it at home. I do not clean windows at home. <laughs> Just act like you're struggling and it, it's, I it's, am. It's, it's not coming clean and then she'll be like, oh, we can't clean windows. See, here's proof. Last piece. I wish you wouldn't say that till it was installed. Last piece. We're not superstitious around here. Oh, let's do it like we did last yeah. time. Yeah. That way you're not having to duck down back, backwards. Should I grunt some more? Yes, please. <laughs> I love it. You have to put curtains up in here or something. That would defeat the purpose, Buford. <laughs> yeah, look at that, all you humans. It's a greenhouse, solarium. It's solarium. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so it was a little bit frustrating. The These cross members, what go on the roof, have this blue tape that I put on it. It came in a giant roll, but there was only enough for all of them but one. I just had that little bit left. So that was a fail. I guess I'm just gonna silicone the last one, maybe? I don't know, figure something out. What do you think? I think I put some it's the silicone one at the very top. Yeah, that way there's less water. Hang is protecting it anyway. Okay. I'm I'm very pleased. Everything went together. I mean, it was reread the instructions 14 times. Read the instructions, reread the instructions, and then after and then that, and call and tell them to, to modify the instructions. <laughs> <laughs> no, they weren't too bad. I've certainly seen worse. No, it, it uh, the fact that it was built in a factory and comes to a job site and everything goes and the holes even lined up where they were supposed to. Yeah. Pretty impressive. Pretty Definitely good. not your typical put a shelf together from Lowe's type deal. Not an Ikea job. No. Well, I appreciate the help, man. You're welcome. Invite me over when it's uh, got a lot done. of green stuff growing and it's snow outside <laughs> and we'll sit in yeah. there and drink a cup of coffee and dream of the beach. All right. <laughs>
this point, we are basically done. There's only a few little detail things that I need to finish up. A few little gasket pieces to put back in place. I want to fix up a little bit of the silicone on the outside where I kind of made a bit of a mess. The interior needs to get insulated. I need to put in the windows. And eventually I'm going to do something on the outside of the block. Maybe rocks? I don't know. Tell me what you think. I'm going to add a little bit more flashing to the top here because the wood is exposed. I want to get all that completely covered up. But before any of that happens, uh, I've got to clean up. This is driving me insane. Well, that didn't last long. Guess we're going to find out if it's waterproof. While I'm waiting on the rain, I guess I'd tell you why we put such a big eave over top of this greenhouse. It is to help with the solar gain that this room is going to experience. This wall that I built out of cinder blocks, I filled with concrete. And the slab up top in the sunroom section of it, a couple feet out from the wall is actually about a foot thick. That's going to be another solar battery. It's going to be holding that solar uh, radiation, the heat, and radiating it throughout the night. In the summer, when the sun is almost directly above us, that large overhang is going to block the sun from even touching that wall, keeping it a lot cooler. Then in the winter, when it's down a lot farther, the sun will come in, go under the eave, and actually reach within two or three inches of the back wall of the sunroom, heating up that entire slab all the way across. Putting the eave in there made it an absolute pain in the butt to get all the glass and the caps and all the seals in place. But I think in the long run it's going to be a lot better for just regulating the heat that's going to be uh, in this area. I'm not really, really far south, but the summers get blistering where we're at. Well, everybody, there you go. I am super happy. Molly is super happy. I think that it turned out absolutely fantastic. It is well built, strong, should last a good long time. Thanks for watching.